Hey guys, it's Lorenzo from Board Riders Review and I have another Bufo here. Um, everything I've got from Bufo Browers um, has been an amazing, amazing, amazing board. So if you ever get a chance, uh, look him up on uh, Hydroflex uh, website and scroll down to the bottom, you'll find all his boards. But uh, this one is called the Tugboat. I've ridden uh, one similar to this called the Love Boat. It's a 7.7 and for a board that size it rides insanely well and I'm able, it's the first board at 7.7 that I've been able to leg legitimately nose ride. Uh, it has to be a pretty steep wave but I can hang 10 on that thing. It's insane. This thing I'm a little hesitant on it because it's a 6.8, uh, 2 and 7 eighths, and I believe it's a little bit of over 20, uh, it's 21 wide. Uh, anyways, this one comes as a fi with five fin boxes. I rode it with five fins, had a small little trailer. I took it off and it made it way faster, I think. Uh, it felt faster with the quad setup. A um, little bit of an entry rocker. Um, sometimes it, uh, a little concave in there. It never pushed water out. Sometimes it pushed a little bit of water. This one didn't. It, I didn't, it didn't have any hesitation. So catching uh, waves was amazing. And I took it out on a fairly big day, uh, six to eight foot, I would say and I was able to paddle in easily. And um, the thing that concerned me about such a wide board, uh, I thought I was gonna struggle with it a little bit, but it held a really high line. It was really responsive and fast. And the more I got back to the tail, uh, it started to feel like a shortboard. I was able to d drop some um, pretty insane bottom turns and shoot up to the top faster than I expected. So again, this is a board from Bufo Browers. He's an amazing shaper from Germany and he did bring over the Hydroflex technology. So you can find him at hydroflexsurfboards.com. Uh, um, but uh, check out these boards. If you can get your hands on one, do it. They're amazing boards. So uh, until then, we'll see you out in the water.